Let's break away from what we know. Just say the word, just say go. No better time than now to make our move. Okay, so I have got to show you before I start this picture that I found on Instagram the other night. I literally busted a nut laughing at this. It is, can you see it? I don't know if it's gonna focus, hold on. It says just hold on, we're going home. And it's Drake in an E.T. basket. It looks so real, you guys. Oh my gosh, I literally cracked up. Um, so that's what I had to show you. I never laugh at pictures like that. I'm just like, I don't know. I guess it takes a lot to make me laugh, but that picture did it for me. I literally cracked up. Okay, so I already primed my lids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Thank you to the subscriber who recommended this to me. I can't remember your name, but I know someone was like, you need this for your oily eyelids. It will work um, because I bought the NARS one and it just really wasn't working for me, but I do like using the NARS one underneath um, my eyelids or underneath like my eyes right here because it really does, I feel like, help prevent um, my concealer from creasing. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on and let it set while I'm doing my eye makeup. Um, but I love the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's my favorite right now and I think it really does a good job of keeping my um, oily eyelids at bay and the shadows um, just lasting longer. So the um, eyeshadow I'm going to be using today is the Designer Label by Bare Minerals. This is one of their new quads that they just released and it's very similar to the Rare Find um, which came out like two fall seasons ago I believe. Um, it had more of a burnt orange in it and then more of a golden shade. This has more nude shades up top and then two really mid-tone greens um, on the bottom section so this is what I am going to be using okay so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this matte mid-tone shade right here it's really similar to makeup geeks uh, beaches and cream which I just got and I really like but I wanted to use this quad because a lot of people were um, requesting it so I'm just taking this on a Sigma E40 blending and I'm just going to pop this all over my lid and it's just gonna be a really nice transition shade I am so in love with the uh, new Bare Minerals eyeshadows that they've came out with. If you guys have not checked them out, you really need to. Um, I have two of them so far. I have the Designer Label, which is what I'm using right now. And then I have um, the Guilty Pleasures, which came in the uh, Addicted to Peach set. So um, it actually came out a while ago, but they made it permanent in their new Ready Collection. So I am super excited about that. Um, and if you love mossy green tones and neutrals, you definitely need to get your hands on this quad because it is just beautiful. So next I'm picking up Elitist, which is this really pretty mid-tone green color. And I'm going to take that on a Sigma E25 blending brush. And this is basically just going to go all over my lower lid and we're going to blend that out later. This is such a beautiful green color. I absolutely love it. It's not too dark. Um, but it's not too light. I know a lot of um, greens that I've used in the past tend to like turn brown on my eyes, but this one really does stay true to color. Um, they do have a new one in the um, the 2.0 duos called the Magic Touch. It's also very similar to this quad. Of course, you're just going to get two shades, um, but it has like a brownish green duochrome color in it. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So if you're not sure about the um, greens that are in this palette, I would go for the Magic Touch because it is amazeballs. Okay, so now I'm going to actually go in with my eyeliner, and this is Buried Treasure by MAC, and it's a PowerPoint liner. Um, it's a very pretty mossy black color, so it's black, but it also has like some green and gold in it. I'm going to use this to tight line and also place this underneath my lash line. Um, I am going to be using gel liner, so um, I just want to use this as like my base because I think it ties in with the mossy color really, really nicely. Let's find a place to leave our shoes Among the stars that have no use When I'm with you, when I'm with you I feel so... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my winged liner. I already did it on this side to save time. I'm just using my L'Oreal Invaluable Liner, the black one, and my MAC 208 Angled Brush. If you have hooded eyelids like I do and you find that your eyeliner creases up into your shadow a lot, you need this matte brush in your life or an angled brush like this that is super, super thin. This is the thinnest one I've ever found, um, but it just allows you to get the liner as close to your um, lash line as possible. That way it's not 
do you understand what I'm saying here like do you see where my eyelid is hooded and it creases right here if my eyeliner touches that it just gets all over my lid so what I'm trying to say is that this gets it really close to the lash line and it doesn't do that let's fly where we used to run let's go where we never got let's dream what we never done and make a row where there wasn't one let's fly let's fly let's fly where we used to run where we used to run let's break away from where we've been let's raise a sail Okay, so now that I have my liner done, I'm just going to go in with the shimmery light shade. It is called Ball Gown, and I'm going to take that on a Sigma pencil brush and place this just in the inner corner to brighten up that area. This is a really, really pretty gorgeous, um, it's like, it's like it's a metallic, but it also has a bit of like glitter flecks in it. Um, so it's really, really shimmery and it really does help to brighten up those inner corner areas. Then I'm actually going to take that same pencil brush and pick up the darkest green in the palette. And this is going to go in our outer crease area or the outer part of our lid. Um, I just like to do my eyeliner first because I feel like it maps out the shape of my eye. Then I like to go in with my darker shades. Um, so I'm basically just going to start brushing this all along um, the outer section of my eye. And then I'm just going to slightly bring it up into the crease once I um, lose a bit of the product because I want there to definitely be a gradual fade between the lower section and the crease. Do all the things we always want to see you do. We'll see how deep the ocean goes. Stand on the edge of the unknown. When I'm with you, when I'm with you, I feel so weightless. Let's get that built up to the intensity that I want I'm of course going to blend that out with the Sigma E25 and really I'm just focusing on buffing out the edges um, because the pencil brush can make your edges a little bit harsh um, but no worries if you have a good blending brush then ain't no thing girl let's go where we've never gone let's prime my face with a bit of the NYX Angel Veil. This stuff was like $15.99 I think. Um, I got it during Ulta's like 40% off sale um, but I cannot imagine paying $15 for NYX. Like am I the only one that thinks that's ridiculous? I mean I love NYX but part of the reason why I love them is because they're so affordable and $15 bucks for a primer like Come on now, there's not even a lot of product in here, I feel like. I don't know. I just felt like this was super small when I got it. Um, a lot of people have been comparing this to the Hourglass Primer, which I have never used before. Um, but it feels, it's like partially a lotion to me and then partially a primer. Like, it's not super silicone-y feeling, um, but it's not super wet feeling. Um, so I, that's what I'm trying to say about that. Next, I'm going in with my One True Love Foundation, which is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. Right now, I'm wearing the shade Light because I don't have a lot of self-tanner on. And I have to tell you guys, again, about another Up and Up brush that I've been using. This is their Kabuki brush. And if you do not want to spend $30 on a new Bare Minerals Kabuki brush, this one works amazingly. I've been using this with my foundation, and it is just, it's great. It's a fabulous fabulous kabuki brush so I highly recommend this for your foundation if you do need a new brush of course y'all know how I do this get a little bit in the container buff it around warm up the minerals and then tap off your excess and then buff it in I'm telling you guys this brush is it's great and it's soft um, a lot of people comment on my videos and tell me that um, they're allergic to the bare mineral brushes um, the bare mineral brushes are made out of goat and pony hair, I believe. Um, they are made out of real animal hair, so um, that could be why a lot of people are allergic to them um, or they kind of irritate or itch. So, if you're having that problem, then I recommend this one. I 
I swear there is not a foundation like that compares to this. I I mean I love my serum foundation from Bare Minerals and that's what I've been using um, for the past few months but I just can't give up my original. It just looks so, it stays on, it looks good all day, makes me feel good. Know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people ask me to review the Tarte, like their powder foundation, and I bought that, and I bought the Air Buki brush that they designed for it. I'm just going to tell you, it did not work out for me. It was nothing like this foundation. It, I just, I didn't even find it, like this sounds mean, but I did not find it worthy of even reviewing. Like, it just wasn't there for me. So, I'm sorry for those of you who are looking forward to a review over that, but it would have basically been all negative. I mean, I really had nothing good to say about it. I love Tarte as a company, but the powder foundation just did not compare to Bare Minerals. Then I'm just taking a bit of my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder Concealer. Um, quick trick since I am running out of this. I've done a whole blog post over this, but um, some people may still not know how to get these jars open when you're running out. Take some tweezers or a dime or anything that's going to pop in between this groove right here and just push up and this little thing will pop off and you've still got quite a bit of product left. Um, so I'm just going to be taking that on my Bare Minerals Tapered Blush and Shadow Brush. Um, if I, I just have a ton of these and they work really good for popping this underneath my eyes. So um, I'm just going to put a bit of the Well Rested underneath my eyes to brighten up underneath there. Well Rested, again, something I cannot live without with you guys. Not live without. <laughs> um, it's just fabulous. I'm taking my Anastasia contour kit and the um, Sigma large angled brush and I'm dipping that into Fawn which is more of the lighter gray shade. This is like my holy grail contour color now. It is awesome. Um, I just built my custom palette with Anastasia a few days ago um, whenever they released their contour refills. So I'm getting that palette in on Saturday. It's got all like brand new colors in it. Um, so I will be doing a review for you guys on that because I know like it was a big deal. Their site kept crashing. Like it was kind of annoying honestly. They had to delay the launch because the site kept crashing and people were going nuts. It was hilarious reading the comments. Like people get so burnt out of shape about their makeup. Um, but I ordered my own kit and I customized it with different colors. So I will be doing a review on that. Um, I'm going to take this and contour. I'm going to take Makeup Geek Romance, which is right here. This is the one Alex got me in our swap, and I just have to say, I really, really like it. It's just a gorgeous, shimmering peach, like golden peach color. Oh, it's so pretty. Where we used to run, let's go. Where we've never gone, let's dream. Where we've never done, and make a row where there was. Um, what I've really been liking, um, to emphasize underneath my eyes a little bit more is taking a uh, max this is part of their like pro series like sculpt powders um, I believe this one is called emphasize no emphasize is the yellow one what is this one accentuate accentuate this is the um, like it's like a highlight powder like whenever you sculpt your face and this is more of like a pinkier shade and it does have a bit of a sheen to it I really love using this underneath my eyes once I get done I think it just adds a really nice glow and just overall like sheen to my look if that makes sense set everything with some mineral bell. This is just a really cute compact bell that I got again in a bare mineral set from Beauty Rush. 
Uh, but I'm just going to take my uh, Real Techniques blush brush and just whiff some Mineral Veil all over my face because Mineral Veil is key. It makes your skin look perfect. For my highlight, since I do have a peachy pinkness going on, I'm taking my Cindy Luminizer by The Balm. Um, and this is the Bare Minerals Tapered Fan Brush. Make sure you tap off the excess if you are using this product because it is very, very pigmented. And I really just like to put this on top of my blush because it actually looks like a blush on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes back up. Um, I'm going to take Makeup Geek Creme Brulee right here on a pencil brush. And I'm just going to use this to blend out my lower lash line, kind of smoke that out. You know the drill. Here I'm using the Almay One Coat Thickening. This is a black-brown formula, so it's not going to be as strong as a black would be, which I really like. And I really like this mascara. It was super inexpensive. Um, it just has a traditional brush on it, but I think it does a really good job with my lashes. I, well, this is like a trio. Um, I'm going to take Too Faced Honey Bear, and this is their La Creme lipstick. Uh, for my lip liner, I'm taking MAC Strip Down, and for my gloss, I'm taking the Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Everything we have to face it without a sound, we take a step. And I just set my entire face with the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay, and that is pretty much it for this look. I really love this eyeshadow from Bare Minerals, you guys. This quad is so, so pretty. Again, if you like mossy colors or green colors, this is super pretty. Um, I'm really liking the Almay Mascara, too, the um, One Coat Thickening. Really inexpensive, and it makes my lashes look pretty legit. So, that is it for this look, you guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Inside our hearts are racing.